available at the time. Before Andrew Denny Hughes and Music of Green Sleeve, played by me and a violin. Being a bit indulgent, and I started to finish violin practice only a few months ago. King Henry Rich was a good musician himself. He played the organ, the hearty chord, and the flute. He also composed melody and he wrote poetry, but his real passion was music. Queen Elizabeth I, daughter of King Henry VIII and his second wife, Anne Boleyn, also showed a strong passion for music. She was a skillful player of both the lute and the virginal. Music had dance very important for both the rich and poor people. Music and the new 16th century instruments could be performed by professional tuner musicians. Songs could be sung in villages and fields by poor people. All tutors attend church on Sunday, which led to the popularity of hymns and secular songs. The different types of 16th century music included church music, court music, street and town music. The dance was a form of exercise enjoyed by the royal family and practiced every morning. Dancing was accompanied by court musicians. The range of the Tudor musical instruments was wide. It included was developed in the medieval period and the early Middle Ages, not the musical instruments which emerged in the Renaissance and the Tudor era. The popularity of string instruments grew tremendously during the Renaissance period. To allow musicians to make beautiful music with subtle expression, there were different kinds of stringed instruments which were played either for bow or plucked. According to the legend, string makers of the 17th century deliberately misled people to believe that the string were made of cocker in order to protect their industry. The lute was the most popular instrument of these days. This instrument was played by plucking the string with fingers. Unlike the guitar, the lute could have could have as many as 13 pairs of string running the length of the body. This fashion made it very difficult to play and almost impossible to keep in tune, so the lute fell out of popularity fairly quickly. The early violin called the violin was developed in mid-late 15th century. With its six strings, the violin was very popular during the Elizabeth era. To play the violin, the musician needed a bow to produce a nice, smooth song. The fiddle was a common string instrument as it could be easily carried. The fiddle was a smaller version of the violin. As the size of this instrument decreased, the techniques also changed. The fiddle was played with a bow or plucked and usually held on the chin or in the crook of the arm. Green sleeve has become a traditional English folk song since early 17th century. Many believe that the words and lyrics of Green Sleeve were written by King Henry VIII for his lover and Queen Couture Anne Boleyn. However, this has never been proved. Several interpretations of the lyrics were put forward, each of them leading to a singular story. The song was undoubtedly based on an Italian style of composition that did not reach England until after King Henry's death, more precisely in the Elizabeth era. But we can say that the haunting melodies and its beautiful lyrics, when combined, produce the most wonderful song for the Tudor age. Nowadays, we can find many virginal green on the internet, most of the time arranged and adapted to different instruments or choirs. The version I am going to play today is arranged and even shorter. By a violin and a piano, they sing together the same melody line. Mm -hmm. 